Now let's discuss the English language A paper two exams. Now this is the exam which will test you on the one hand on poetry or prose text for section A and of course imaginative writing for section B. Now in total this paper is one hour and 30 minutes so let's look at how uh, we can answer this question and I will walk you through what you should anticipate for this paper but equally how you should allocate this one hour and 35 minutes in each of the two sections. So let's begin with section A. Now section A is basically the poetry and prose section and Question one, it always has a question one, okay? And it's worth 30 marks. And bear in mind that section A and section B are equally weighted. 30 marks for section A and 30 marks for section B. So as you're going to see in my walkthrough, I recommend basically splitting the one hour and 30 minutes in half and then spending 45 minutes for section A and 45 minutes for section B. Now of this 45 minutes for section A, you should spend 10 minutes reading and planning this question and of course the remaining 35 minutes actually writing out your response. Now this question one which is worth 30 marks tends to ask you something along the lines of remind yourself of and then keywords. Now the extracts that you get is an extract you've already prepared for in class okay you've already prepared for also within my lessons and it's taken from part two of the edXL anthology so it tells you remind yourself of this poem or this prose fiction text that you've already read in part two of the anthology then it asks how does the writer present whatever keywords and of course part of the 10 minutes you're highlighting these keywords and then focusing in. Now how I would suggest structuring this question is just begin with an introduction, three to four substantive points and of course I'm going to walk you through an actual past paper uh, example afterwards and of course conclusion and I've created other videos looking at you know the, this past paper so do make sure you check that out for example my video answering still I rise which is one of the past paper questions and of course this is the poem by Maya Angelou okay. Now in terms of answering question one Essentially, that's all you need to bear in mind, okay? Just make sure you spend 45 minutes in total, and of this 45 minutes in section A, 10 minutes should be spent actually reading, planning, highlighting the keywords in this question, and then the remaining 35 minutes writing your introduction, three to four points, so three separate points with your point, evidence, explanation, and link, and then your conclusion. Now, the remaining 45 minutes should now be allocated to section B of the exam. Now, section B is the imaginative writing section of your exam. Now, in this section of the 45 minutes, this is how I would suggest allocating it for the creative writing element. You should spend 10 minutes actually planning out your answer in detail. This is sacred. This time you spend planning and make sure both of your plans for section A and section B are in your transcript, okay? So that in case anything goes wrong, in case you're not able to answer or complete rather your answer, the examiner can at least have a look at your plan and see where you are going to go with that plan, okay? However, this planning time for question for section B is sacred because it means that you, the better your plan is, the more clear your answer is going to be, okay? Now, once you spend your 10 minutes planning, 30 minutes should be spent writing, and then five minutes afterwards, so this is towards the end, make sure you check your time, make sure you look around. You know, um, I would always suggest just getting a cheap watch, make sure it's not an Apple watch or one of those advanced watches because they're not gonna let you into the example with that. Something very basic, a Casio watch, something cheap which you can have a look at, okay, especially if you're short-sighted like me where you can't see very far. Um, or, of course, if you're lucky and you can see really far, there are gonna be uh, clocks all around the example. However, do make sure you keep an eye on the time, okay? So spend 10 minutes planning your creative writing, 30 minutes writing, and then the last five minutes reading over what you've read and checking for any glaring errors. Now, for this section, for section B, you have a choice of three questions. And bear in mind, you have three questions, but you pick just one. That's why it's a choice of the three. Now, you have either question two or three or four. You pick one and it's worth 30 marks. It's worth half of the overall marks available for this paper. Now, I would suggest whichever one you pick, so if you go for question number two, question number three, or question number four, make sure you still highlight all the keywords in this question. And then after you've decided what question you're going to settle on and what story you're going to write, you plan using a story mountain structure. If you're not clear on planning, do make sure you watch my videos where I go over creative writing and I'll show you an example of a really well-written creative piece, okay? Then afterwards, of course, make sure you then read over what you've written. Now, one thing to bear in mind is, as I mentioned, you've got question two, three, and four, and you pick one. Question four for this paper is often the image related. So you're gonna turn over and you usually see two images. 
these two images are only related to question number four. So usually it asks you a question and then it tells you, try if you can to make it related to one of the images. This is important to bear in mind. Try not to, you know, pick question four and then say, oh, they've asked me just to, you know, if I can to relate it to the image. No, I usually suggest if you're gonna go for the image related question, make sure it's related to the image. Make sure even your first paragraph really vividly describes what you can see in either of the images you go for, okay? And of course, question two or three, it's more generally, for example, of question number three, you're given a title, you're asked to write a story, you know, using that title as the beginning. Question number two is more general and more broad in terms of the story writing, okay? But that's really it in terms of what to anticipate for the English language A paper two exams. Bear in mind, one hour, 30 minutes, you should spend it split it evenly between section A and section B. Also make sure you use this time in a really good way. Do not spend, for example, 15 minutes on section A and then take away time from section B. You are robbing yourself of marks, okay? And treat your timings as essential and sacred. Make sure you set aside time for planning and then of course time for writing and even checking your answers, especially for the creative writing side of your exams, okay? So that's really it and I hope you found this walkthrough really helpful.